Brother folks, Jacob here. Today we're going to be getting hyped over the five new ships that will be here before the end of the year. Those ships being the 100i, shortly after the Mercury Star Runner. Let's not forget the two Talon variants and maybe the Hercules C2. At least a C2, I hope. We'll see about that. Lastly, we'll get on to some special honourable mentions. As always, see the chapters for whatever you are interested in. Let's not forget to sub up to keep up with the content. Let's start with the 100i. This is going to be the new starter ship, pretty much replacing the 300i as a starter ship from what I see. This will be a decent looking FedEx ship, given the fact that the stairs to get in and out aren't anywhere near as awful as the 300i's. Getting in and out is what makes or breaks any FedEx ship. Period. Let's not forget the other two variants of those being the light fighter and cargo versions. The fighter variant, the 125A, literally gains two size one missiles on a single rack, so we'll call this a light, 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 light fighter, I reckon. All variants have two SCU of cargo, where the cargo variant, the 135C, has six SCU of cargo. Sure, it's definitely a bump, but still pretty small, perhaps ideal for super duper small scale drug smuggling, something along those lines. What's really dope about the 100i is the bed, even if it looks about as comfortable as a nail bed. I look forward to testing this thing in 3.11. I'll be taking a closer look at this thing before it releases and have a first look video up as soon as first wave PTU hits. And you shouldn't miss it. Question is, would you 100i% percent have this? Moving onward and upward, there's a pretty decent amount of hype behind this next one, that one being the Mercury Star Runner. This will be the first entry into the verse for Crusader Industries manufacturer, and this one will lead by example for sure. Far as I see it, this is literally going to be a cleaner, less pirate-like variant of a cutty black, while not being quite on the same level of origin-style ships from a sleek style perspective. And I kinda dig that. The weapons on this thing range between size 2s and 3s, so it'll be a packing a punch given that it's not aimed as a gunship to any extent. More a cargo slash data ship, and while having some Connie Andromeda amounts of cargo, the mechanics behind the ship in regards to the whole data running thing should hopefully follow soon. Perhaps next year we'll get a nice little taste of that. Sadly, you're gonna have to wait until some variant of the 311X patch hits to see this ship. Seems it's only just half done. Moving on to the Talon, we knew this ship was coming for several weeks before its announcement, then it was accidentally liked by CIG themselves, and I don't think this was an accident myself, but whatever. This is a pretty well hyped light fighter, or fighters I should say, given that there is a missile spam vote variant of this ship. The Talon Shrike, packing two racks of size, three missiles, 12 missiles on each rack. Let's not forget the standard Talon with a massive set of size 4 ballistic cannons, replicas of Tavaran weapons. There's a lot of people who can't wait for this ship with the whole pod ejection movement of wings, stealth abilities, etc. Having a good group of these equipped for stealth could be a decent force not to be reckoned with. These reasons and many others is why I decided to get the twin pack myself. Furthermore, let's not forget the next entry from Crusader Industries, the Hercules C2. The C2 is going to be the new caterpillar as far as trading is concerned with its 50 SCU bump in cargo. If only there was a medical bed, these then there would be the ultimate trader for sure. As I said before, I like the appearance of Crusader ships and it's kind of a stepping stone to the origin style ships from an appearance and comfort perspective. So this is kind of being hopeful, but maybe we'll see the A2 and M2 the vehicle and transport gunship variants. Probably not, but we'll have to see. At the very least, we'll probably see these variants next year, but we'll have to wait and see. Let's just hope it doesn't turn into the whole Connie Taurus style delays. Speaking of the Connie Taurus, this last variant of the Connie series is rumoured to be coming in 311, according to a large amount of Evocati leaks. Decent amount of people are excited for this in the hopes that it brings more storage than that of the Freelancer Max. If it does, this will be the largest cargo hauler in this size category. Once upon a time, this would have given it an advantage for trading at Grim Hex. Then they added all those different sized hangers, but no matter. Likely this will turn into the largest cargo hauler that can go through a small jump point, and in the future, that will be quite the advantage to have if you ask me. Finally, now that the last Connie variant will have been finished, maybe, just maybe, they'll fix how this thing pilots like a goddamn retribution. Some honourable mentions most definitely have to go to the whole C. Now, as simple as I see it with the cargo decks being implemented, the whole series has what it requires for these ships to be usable. Again, I'm sure I'm missing something, maybe it'll be here sometime late this year, or maybe not. However, from what we know and what has been leaked, this ship is pretty much 
done. The question is, is the verse ready for this style of ship? And lastly, CitizenCon or Digicon, a virtual CitizenCon, whatever you want to call it. There's always been ships revealed at these events for the last couple of years, of which have gone straight to flyable, one of which could easily be the RSI Odin, the Exion or however you pronounce it, cargo ship, and also the refinery ship mentioned from the 2019 CitizenCon. So maybe another four ships coming this year, potentially. That's nine altogether. So I know you lot are skeptical about my channel, given that I only have this amount of subscribers, but you've made it this far, so you're clearly interested. And this is how many of you actually subscribed. So do me a huge favor and subscribe. Do it. Do it. Do it. Also giveaways at 250, 500, 750, and 1,000 subs, so long as you've commented on the videos. Thank you ever so much for watching. Today's video sponsor is the like button for the glorious YouTube algorithm. That will of course allow this channel to grow with your support. Obviously don't forget to comment or subscribe if you haven't already. If you aren't aware, I generally upload three to five times a week, so be sure to check back. My name is Jacob. Thank you and goodbye for now.